Welcome, Grand Canaria. Let's check out the prices. I'll show you a cracking place here. Tipsy Hammer, between two and four live music. Thanks to the viewers for giving me a wee tip. Just in there, with a couple of drinks. I'll tell you how much the drinks were in a wee second. Got live singing on, great atmosphere. This is my favourite place in this area. By a distance, I could have sat there all day, all day. Let's go. We've got a wee bit of reggae on. Oh, class. I might just go back there, actually. Let's continue. We're going to head up this way because I'm going to head down to Millinaris, which is more expensive than here, I can tell you. We're going to check out some of the prices up here. Um, can I let you know what they expect if you're coming here? Tipsy Hammock. It's probably one of the more expensive places, but it's worth it because you're looking out to sea, you're looking out to the dunes just down here. You've got live music, you've got a great atmosphere. It's well worth it. Uh, a large Coke, big bottle of Coke was €3.80. Euros 80. And a small half pint of Stella was €3.30. Euros 30. So I think that's perfectly acceptable. The live music surroundings, absolutely brilliant. You can get beers for about €2.50 Euros 50 and half pairs and stuff like that here. Um, prices will vary depending on where you're going. We'll check out some menus here as well, okay? Let's see how much the ice creams are. One scoop mint chop chip, that's what I need. Two ninety. That's quite dear for one scoop, isn't it? Um, it's actually a spa in there, spa express. We've got some live music here, we've got cocktails. Let's check out the prices here. What have we got? Two euro seventy for a large beer, looks of it. Or oh, three twenty actually for a large beer. And you can go for the half litre ones, 340 as well, just going for that one, aren't you? So they've got different ones there. Bottles, Australia Galicia as well. Cocktails, no prices. Busy here, eh? Live singer. So, different nationalities and different bars. Um, very, very busy here, but we have business. Let's continue. That's the Strand Arena there. But I've got my glasses ready to look at some menus here, so we'll see. But surprisingly busy. I've done a video here yesterday, it wasn't that busy. But everybody's out today. Beautiful weather. The temperature gauge was showing 31 degrees at one point around there. I don't think it's as hot as that, but it's pretty nice to say the least. Right, what have we got here? Corona is 2 75 A large beer here is two euros ninety-five. Looks as if that's all the time, there's no set limit on that. Smoothies numbers next to them, no prices. 11.50. Oh, so garlic prawns and garlic bread. Let's continue. We'll pass by some buffet restaurants here that are incredibly cheap. Chinese one coming up here. Eat as much as you like. €9.95. Euros 95. Open from half 11 in the morning. You wouldn't think people would be having Chinese buffets at half 11 in the morning, would you? So, 11 o'clock at night, kids are four euros 95. So that is really affordable. I did have a buffet in here last time, I can't remember what it was, it was okay. Um, quite a few people in the comments said they've been in these places and it's good value for money. I know not everybody likes buffets, but if you do like a buffet, or maybe you're in a wee hurry, you're struggling for time. Sometimes, if I'm really struggling for time, I'll go in a buffet restaurant because I know I'm going to be quick and I can get out quick. It's nice and cool, nice wee shady bit here. I've got random uh, toys for sale here, as you can see. I'm not perfect, but I am a limited edition. There you go. More restaurants and bars coming up here at the end. I'm going to walk up all the way to the top and I'm going to just keep walking. Oh, look at this. I love my aunt. Your baby stuff. Um, it's quite a nice t-shirt that, isn't it? Custom motorcycles. Yeah, nice t-shirts here. Check out the menu here. What have we got here? €6.95. You see a lot of the menus are in German and in Swedish. There's a lot of uh, Scandinavian. Hello there. Hola, el velero, Hola. Mate. El velero del anexo de Plan Inglés. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I sweet to that guy last night. Okay, here is a menu here. El Blero. Somebody says you stay up in Puerto Rico. I should have asked them. Uh, Nine euros ninety-five. That's not bad, isn't it? For that. Nine euros ninety-five. Can't complain, can we? 
look at the set you've got here, look at these guys with the Hawaiian shirts just sitting out looking over the dunes. Brilliant. Right, tapas, you fancy a wee tapas? 10 euros 95. They must be bigger dishes because tapas is normally smaller than that. Standard baguettes here, we've got some, about 4 euros. Chips 275, get sandwiches. So they've got really something to suit all budgets here. It's not really high end down this, uh, down this bit, to be honest with you. There's not any really big fancy restaurants. They're all pretty affordable. Wee sports bar there. Quite nice. Bayern Munich on. I reckon if I manage Bayern Munich, I could win the German League. They've won it the last 11 seasons in a row. <laughs> Don't talk about football much in the channel, but people always leave a wee comment because they know my Liverpool fan, they always say, oh, Pep's a great manager, and no doubt he's a brilliant manager. But let's be honest, with Messi, Iniesta and Xavi, I could have won the Champions League with Barcelona. What a team they had. Uh, 9.95 here, Hong Kong buffet. I think that's just open, Hong Kong buffet. What we got here, menu of the day. Your wee starter, you get Canadian potatoes, oh, mushrooms or melon. Your main courses, you get quite a list of main courses there as well. Kind of fish, half roast chicken, grilled sirloin steak for €9.95. That's a real bargain, isn't it? That's at the Columbus. Let's continue. Hello. Hello. So, very, very affordable, I think. Outrageously affordable. Don't know what the headline of this video will be. Or depends. People quite like the, the pricing videos. Um, if I'm in a resort once a year, I'll kind of revisit and do it again. See if the prices have changed. Then I don't think the prices have changed much. I think the buffets were the same price last time I was here. Stop. The best pizza on the beach here. There we go. Two big beers, five euros. So two euros fifty for a big beer. If you miss somebody or if you just order two on your own, that's allowed as well. Not bad eh? Let's continue around here. There's a guy doing live music around here. Last night he took a wee video as well. So I'm going to be going out of the end here. Walking up the steps. Up the top there. And I think from memory if I walk to the left, eventually I'll come to a shopping centre. These guys out. Oh, scary ending this one. Must be good, eh? Landing right in the dunes. Look how many people are out there. Lots of people out there. Miles up there. Up at the top, miles away. Oh. Yeah, quite scenic, quite nice. Right, let's continue. I think we're going to go up that way. Down that way. Not quite sure. Go up this way. We screen there saying 27 degrees. I don't know if that's accurate, but it feels like it. A bit of line dancing coming on again. I don't see buggies on these dunes, maybe it has to go further out, it's a wee bit built up. Yeah, it's nice there. Eh? Right, let's continue up this way, there's a the time. 3.25 Now the tipsy hammock Live music was 2 to 4 I was just going to stay there the whole day But I need to crack on the videos I could have just sat there the whole day oh. 
Right, that's us up the top now. So I think I'm going to go left here. There's quite a few apartments here. Don Palamon Apartments, Arco Iris Apartments. She's all out of breath now. What a view, eh? You better seen this rather than my face, aren't you? <laughs> what a view. There's a wee bars we just came from down there. Stretches all the way down there. Take maybe 12, 13 minutes to walk from one end to the other. You pass loads of bars. If you're staying in any of these apartments, pretty good location. You're right next to the beach. If you're staying where I'm staying up, up at the server tour Waikiki, then you're a wee bit away from the beach to be honest with you. If I was coming on holiday here to play the angles, eh, if you like live music entertainment, the bars to go to during the day, Tipsy Hammock 2 to and then at night, eh, Mulligan's at the Irish Centre and O'Neill's next to it. They both had really good bands on last night, highly recommend them, proper really good bands. O'Neill's, the band, there's two guys and a guitar, and a guy with a big, I think it was a big cello, it was really, really good. Um, I can't remember the name of them, but they play there, I think a Tuesday, a Thursday or a Saturday. And the band in Mulligan's, they were actually indoors from 11 o'clock onwards. The, it was indoors. It was still pretty hot outside, but it was getting a wee bit chilly. So it was indoors, and they finished up about 1 in the morning. And that's at the Irish Centre. There's quite a lot of apartments and hotels near the Irish Centre. Um, I quite like the location actually there, it's, it's fine. Where I'm staying is near the Casbah Centre and there's not really any bars that go in the Casbah Centre. It's, it's incredibly quiet. Now, I can see flags there, which basically means, from memory, there's a nice wee fancy boutique hotel down here. I don't think I'll be able to get and film it. But I'll go round the corner to the right, where we get a wee taxi or a bus to Millenaris. Dunes going all the way along there, eh? Doesn't look as if there's really anything on there. A couple of porter cabs, look as if it's toilets, maybe a wee beach bar. These look like private apartments, don't they? It's Taboga apartments. The birds are saying it's nice and peaceful and quiet up here. You still here? Oh, thanks so much, the superstars. Um, if you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour, hit the wee subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it's just like a wee vote saying you like the channel. It doesn't really make any difference one way or another. If you watch to the end, that's what helps the channel the most. So I really, really appreciate it. I want to thank you. A few camper vans around here. Should I be going up that way to get a taxi? I can see more flags up there, some more hotels. Should I continue around this way? Can't remember. Oh, there. It's a Santa Monica Suites Hotel. It looks lovely there. It's going to be overlooking the sea. I think I did walk in there before. Can't remember if I've done a video or not. I'm not sure what brings me around here. Okay, I'm going to try and get my bairns. Bears, thanks for watching to the end. I really, really appreciate it. That's the bungalows. Rosa, I think it's called. Donna Rosa. Look nice. Is it around here? Around there, not sure. Decision time. <laughs>